Well, I don't really know how to start because I'm pretty sure it's been two years since I've made a video. I mean, a lot's happened in the last two years. You know, whatever. Enough excuses. Uh, since the last time you guys have seen me work on my car, I moved out of my apartment and now I have a house. Uh, and then I also got a new daily. Um, and so I think we're gonna start with the new garage, just briefly, and, uh, and then my new daily, and then we'll, um, we'll figure out where to go from there. Right, so, I, 2012, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yeah, so this is a 2012 Audi A6. That's the C7 generation. This car, I've been driving it for like, six months now and it's honestly amazing. Um, super comfortable car to drive and I'm glad I picked it as a daily. And honestly, like these are ridiculously affordable if you're willing to get a higher mileage one. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I really don't know what else there is to say about this, but we'll be doing some mods and stuff over the next, I don't know, year or so uh, to get this to be a nice OEM plus daily. Um, so that's, it's not gonna be slammed. It's not gonna be bagged. Anyways, so today, I think what I'm just gonna do is a real quick video on me changing this grill out. I got an S6 Black Optics grill off Facebook Marketplace for really cheap. Uh, and, and that's a top tip for you guys. Milwaukee doesn't have a ton of like Audi enthusiasts or European car enthusiasts, right? And Milwaukee, Wisconsin is where I'm at, if you're wondering. So search Facebook Marketplace in other cities, like maybe cities that you have friends at or see if they're gonna be willing to ship. So like I searched the Minneapolis, St. Paul area in Minnesota, and I found this for 150 bucks. And on the forums, these are going for like way more than that all day. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get started. This will not be a DIY because about a billion people swap this grill out for the honeycomb one on ebay but yeah I'll, I'll put links in the description below of the articles i found that helped me do this one way is to remove the bumper that seemed like a huge pain in the butt uh there's a way to just remove a couple panels on top and bottom and get to all the clips and stuff that you need uh, to take it out so i'm gonna give it a shot and i'm gonna get started So there are two bolts behind this and it's honestly not worth my time trying to figure out how to do this when it's gonna take me an extra 20 minutes to get the bumper off. So I gave up, I'm taking the bumper off. How's it going, Josh? I'm pulling the bumper off, Alex. Is it going well? You're supposed to be <laughs> holding the flashlight. Yeah, but I'm holding the camera, Josh. No, all right, so I didn't wanna pull the front bumper off, so I pulled the front bumper off. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's, there's no other way to do it. Look, I mean, there is, but like the length of this bit was too long to get to where it needed to be. So it's like, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time around. I'm just going to pull the front bumper off. To do that, you do not have to jack up your car and pull the wheel off. You have to turn the wheels. And then after all the bolts are undone, we're going to disconnect the battery because all the parking sensors and if your car has adaptive cruise control. I, I don't know this for sure, but some guy said that like, if you disconnect the battery with these sensors on, you're gonna have to go to the dealership and have them reprogrammed, which, you know, just take the two seconds to undo your battery and avoid that potential problem. Yeah, so here, oh, here, there you go. On a scale of one to 10, how do you think your hands days are going? Uh, I haven't bled yet, which is pretty good. <laughs> If you're watching this and all this looks like too much for you and you think that you can't DIY it, definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> so out of five wrenches, what would you rate this DIY? It's, I mean, it's super easy. For you though. 
and you're like a three out of five wrenches right now, right? I'm at three out of five wrenches? On this project. I don't know what the rating system means. It's like the Pelican parts system where they have like taking an engine out of a car, it's five wrenches. One wrench is like changing your oil. This is like a three or a two because you could, in theory, totally destroy all your sensor calibrations. I guess. I mean, but you have to compare it to like other things because then like what is, if this is a three and you're changing your grill, what's a five? Alex is pulling out the bolts that are very hard to get at. Usually the aluminum crash truck crash structures right here. Yeah, and so Can't this bolt anything. right there would have been very hard to get to. Anyways, time to get the grill out. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's how it goes on. You've got it set to M for mini. You got the when Audi badge upside down. For double. For a double. Wombo. For a wombo. So this is actually uh, it's actually a couple days later. Just yeah, got caught up doing stuff, but um, I actually really really love the way this new grill looks. Um, super happy with sort of how aggressive it makes the front end look. Super pleased with it. I think it does a lot for the front end over the OEM one. Um, what you saw me do here uh, actually took a little while to do, just because I had to source all the stuff. Um, this quattro badge that's blacked out is actually a rear trunk quattro badge that I just got off eBay. Um, I'll try and put the link to that in the description below. It's labeled as OEM. It's not. But it honestly, it looks good enough. And I just wanted something to fill the, where the, sort of the bracketry where the S6 badge would be. And I'm obviously not going to run an S6 badge. So I bought a uh, cheap S6 badge off eBay and you saw me trimming it up and that's just to make it sort of fit the Quattro badge. Lessons learned, just take the bumper off. It honestly only took, if I knew how to do it, like 10 minutes. And so I think in the future, I'm gonna be doing a bumper removal and reinstallation DIY. I'll do a video of that in the future. But other than that, I'm happy to be back. Uh, we're gonna see a lot more videos on this in the future. We're gonna see a lot more videos on the R32 in the future. Um, honestly, kind of towards the maintenance side of things, I got a lot of maintenance to catch up on on both these vehicles. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. So it's, it's good to be in front of the camera again, and I'll see you guys around.